Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Lisa of Diamonds and Stitches and today I am going to continue working on uh, a whip and sip. I'm actually continuing to work on the collab piece that I was doing with Sherry. Um, even though Sherry is done with hers, she took hers on vacation with her and she rocked it out you guys. Like she got it done and um, and unfortunately I have not so I'm the one who's behind and um, and so she's gonna wait until I am done mine to do our post review together so um, so Sherry I love you girl you are awesome and um, and I've just enjoyed doing this collab with you um, and sorry I can't keep up with you guys um, I try, but you know, here's my problem. I just have too darn many, you know, um, ones that I wanted to get started and do, and I jumped into other ones and, and, um, all I really did with this one was devoted the, the time that we, um, spent together, uh, on our whip and chats, you know, during the, the, um, hour or so that we worked, um, and so I just, I just didn't work on it very much, uh, you know, um, after our whipping sips. And so, um, yeah, so, but I have been, I have been working on it at night, um, after work when I come home and, um, because Sherry is done, I thought, Hey, I will continue on with mine and still do the whips and sips. Um, but, uh, we will do our, you're just going to see me working on it. Um, but, um, then we'll do our review after. So what I thought was, you guys, I have seriously hated this covering, um, you know, because they put it, they made it in one piece. This is one piece, it's not in two or three. And so every time I work on it, you know, when I, I move it back, and um, because I work on a lap table, um, part of it is over and this gets all you know it's thick and stiff and whatever and so um it has not been super enjoyable well the other day i i discovered parchment paper and i know that other people have been doing it in the community for a while and um and so i watched a few videos on exactly how you know and what kind of parchment paper not wax paper um, you know, the whole deal. So I went to Hobby Lobby because that's where I was at really close. And, um, I picked up a roll of, uh, parchment paper. It was, um, just in the baking section. It was $5.99 and then I had a 40% off coupon. Um, this one is like, um, what is this? It is, uh, 33 feet by 1.25 inches does that seem right no that doesn't seem right I don't know I don't know how big it is it's um 41 square feet of of paper it's pretty big it comes in this nice big roll um so what I did was I looked at this canvas and I decided how I wanted to oh sorry guys how I wanted to cut it up and so I thought well hey while I'm doing it um I'm going to replace this cover because I cannot take it anymore and I think also it will help me uh, go a little faster too with um, with just taking a little section off and just working on that section and then knowing that I'm done instead of like, seriously, I've been taking off like this whole cover, you know, and working on a little section at a time and then putting it back. I'm not skilled enough to score. I know other people have scored their, their um, one piece, uh, uh, covers and um, me and a knife are not always a good thing together um, and I'm always afraid I'm going to cut through my canvas because I don't have the lightest of touches and so this just seemed like a better option so what I did was I um, took two big big pieces and then realized ha, I probably don't need two big pieces because sometimes you know the thought process doesn't work as fast as it should and um, so because almost half of this canvas is finished it's it's 
almost finished like this part over here there's just a small little bit here and a little here um, that I still have uh, outstanding and so um, oh, my little puppies are barking outside um, so I will um, you know work on those tonight while we whip and sit but I just thought hey I would show you guys how I got the parchment paper on um, on the canvas and uh, following some instruction that I found um, through some other creators. So what I did was, huh, how did this get? Well, I don't know what I'm doing right now, sorry. Um, and of course, can I find a pair of regular scissors in this house? No. I cross stitch, I crochet, I do all kinds of stuff. I have all kinds of scissors in this house. And do you think that I could find a pair when I need them? No. So I've got the little scissors. So what I did basically was I took a nice big piece and then I folded it in half and then I folded it in half again. Um, to create four sections and then they they were you know okay maybe do at least so I folded it in half this way and then I folded it in half again made creases obviously but then I folded it in half again like that and then I folded it in half and then half again. So it, it made it into four sections. And, um, and I just thought that this, this was going to be a better size for me. I may even cut them down again. We'll see when I put it on the canvas. But it seemed like this was a good square for me. Come on. Um, for me to undo. Um you know, uh, uncover what I meant this section at a time. And it just made more sense to me in my head while I was thinking about it. So, um, that's what I'm going to work on. So I am not making this perfect. You guys, I'm so over this canvas a little bit. Um, I have had, well, I'm going to leave it for my post review, but um, I know I've talked about it before. I've had some popping drill issues with this one um, and a lot of junk drills. And so um, let me finish cutting and then I will come back and we'll get this stuff on the canvas. I have my pile of um, rectangles. And um, so what I'm going to do is I am going to take this off. First, I'm going to get myself up here so I can do it. Get my ever-present coffee out of the way. And I'm sorry if you guys are going to see my hands in here quite a bit until I can get situated. Um, the other thing in here, you guys, is the bubbles. Oh, my gosh. I have a bunch of bubbles. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Um, I'm not going to worry about those right now because I just am not. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take... A wax sheet and because I work from my top you know I actually work in a section I work from the top and I go across a little bit and then I work my way down um, I try to work a large section of color as I can because I hate um, I hate uh, switching out colors all the time but all I'm going to do is I'm going to go to where I know the glue or the, yeah, double-sided tape is on this side. And um, I'm just going to put them down and I'm overlapping them a little bit. Oops. I'm going to overlap it a little bit to the next sheet. So see, there's, there's a little bit of overlap here. And then I just smooth it down. You guys, this is the easiest thing. You just take the corner here. Maybe get my hand out of there. You take the corner and you just peel it off. It's not, it's not hurting anything. You can push it back down. This is fabulous. Whoever thought of this with the parchment paper, genius. 
how much yeah there we go um so because I work this way um I thought that I would just go from the bottom up and I overlap it going up and smooth it out it doesn't have like for me it doesn't have to be exact I'm totally fine with where um, these are placed because I know that you know no hairs getting under here nothing um so I'm okay with how much is overhanging and um, they don't have to be even for me. I don't care about that either. Just try and get it as much in a straight line over here as possible so that I uncover the right section at a time. And the great thing about the parchment paper, or at least that what I've noticed so far is it does not matter um, which side of the wax paper, like the wax paper has a, has a definite, um, bend to it. Um, and putting that side, putting that side down is probably preferable. Um, but I don't know for sure because I've used both sides and it doesn't seem to, to matter. My goodness, my puppies are really being noisy today. I think they're saying, hey, hey, it's getting dark out. It's getting dark out. We would like to be inside. Okay, so now this one does not have very much um, of a section for me to, to do. There's a little bit right here, and then there's some up here. So what I will probably do is just get a little piece of tape and put that on there. So this is all I'm going to cover because I'm going to work this, this, Anything that's open right now in this section here, that's what I'm going to work on tonight and get finished. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this original piece and I'm going to cut it um, to cover that up. And then what I'm going to do is just put some tape, um, you know, on, on a couple of, uh, on each edge, I guess. And then just, you know, just clear white tape, right? Um, and just put that on there and put it around just so that it holds it and so that no dust is getting on here, no dog hair, um, you know, uh, while I'm continuing to work on the other pieces. Um, I do have a dog that sheds quite horribly and, um, and, uh, I don't enjoy picking his dog hair out of still the, the spots of glue that, um, you know, because there's, no matter how hard you try, there's still space in between your diamonds. So that's how I've done that. So I'm going to put you guys on pause. I'm going to set up so that I can diamond paint and then we'll whip and chat away um, or whip and sip is what I do. So, um, so just hang on. Okay, I am back. So as you can see, um, this is what I've gotten done. And then over here, this is, so really I'm not quite a halfway done. I've really been working on it, you guys. Really, I have. But um, it is seriously confetti heavy, especially in this area here. And, um, and I've had to change my colors quite a bit. Um, this one does have 45 colors. And so, yeah. All right, so let me put my light pad on so I, or yeah, my light pad on so I can see because I can't see. Um, the symbols on this are really quite um, fun to work on. So I think that what I'm going to do is take my glasses off, figure out which, um, which area to work in here. I have a lot of C's down in here. So I think I'll do C's, which is, oy vey, you guys. Should have done this a little earlier. Look at my little color. Seriously, you guys, these are so tiny. 40, okay. 40. Okay, so, um, 
All right, I'll just do it that way. Um, so I have, I have started using a bigger diamond tray. Oh my gosh, I am in love with this thing. You know, um, I have been that girl who has used a um, green tray for quite some time, and then I started using a. Um, I started using one that had a funnel on it. Okay, that is a disaster in the making. That is, it's not a good idea for me. Nope, not at all. So this one here is awesome. And also now that I have learned, can you guys see where I'm at? I'll put you up maybe a little closer, sorry. Mm, does that help y'all? I hope that helps. Um, I, what was I going to say? <sighs> Brain farts. Um, any, oh yeah. So, uh, I am loving this diamond tray. I, um, now that I have started using a placer properly and, um, with practice as I used to my mom used to say when I was younger and I instilled in my children, practice makes perfect. Um, and so I have been practicing my little heart out in areas that I can um, using a placer. And uh, this tray, okay, first off, the placer, game changer. Uh, the tray game changer because not only can I get more diamonds into it, obviously, because it's bigger, but, um, but I shake better in it and, um, I can create so much nicer rows of, um, I'm going to take this one off and work over here for right now. Um, cause there's a whole load of C's over here. Um, I can create these beautiful lines. Look at that. Look at that. I wasn't able to do such lovely lines before. Oh my God. Now I'll start sounding like I'm a drug pusher or something. I'm a diamond pusher, people. Um, but I wasn't able to get these nice lines um, when I was in the little green green trays I would get you know I would maybe get four or five diamonds in a row that would be really nice in one line and then the next line might have three and then the line after that might have you know two and then one upside down and then four you know and so um I just wasn't having any luck well this one I'm telling you guys game changer game changer I am loving it. No, no, I got this out of some kit too. Like it came in a kit. I want to say like, um, ooh, was it the Evershine kit? I don't know. I don't remember my unboxings anymore, you guys. It's all a blur now. Boy, babe. just a blur. Um, yeah. So what should we whip and sip? Well, I'm sipping coffee. Yes, I am. Um, what shall we whip and sip about today? Uh, how about shows? Okay, so I started watching. Okay, that one's upside down. I started re-watching Orange is the New Black. Okay, because I'm going to be so very honest. Well, I'm always honest. But, um... So I had started watching Orange is the New Black when it came out, right? Totally, totally into the show. And I think I got to season four. But what happened was in season three, I think I fell asleep for so many of the episodes. Like I, I, I had to go back. And so um, I, there's seven seasons, right? And so I'm like, okay, well, I know I didn't watch seven and I know I haven't. Okay. There's a round drill right there. This is a square painting. So that's weird. Um, I know I haven't seen six at all. 
I know I've not done seven because it just came out or yeah, I guess so. Um, and I'm fairly certain I have not watched five. I don't remember all of four. So, um, so I started, you know, going back and I'm like, okay, I remember parts of these, but I don't remember all of it. So then I started, I went back into three cause I'm like, I know I'm missing parts and I don't know what the heck I'm missing. And so, um, yep. What happens to me is, so I have an iPad and I'll put Netflix on my iPad as I'm, you know, laying in bed and I um, multitask a lot and so I'll have the TV on or my iPad on and I'm diamond painting or cross stitching or something, right? So sometimes I'm not always paying attention or a lot of times I'm working still on my computer for work. And um, so it's kind of background noise. So I'm paying attention, but I'm not like fully paying attention. Well, what happens is I'm in bed, right? And, um, and I'm nice and warm and the computer on my lap might be really warm and I fall asleep. And, um, and I'll wake up and, you know, two seasons, two, two episodes could have already passed. And, you know, me, I'm like, I didn't fall asleep. Ah, I remember everything that happened. And Sean cracks up. He thinks that it's the funniest thing ever. And he's like, oh yeah, no, you weren't asleep at all. You totally remember everything, right? And I'm like, yep, yep, I do. And, uh, and so I'm stubborn enough, you know, that I'll, I'll be like, oh, it's okay. I didn't miss that much, you know? So I'll go on to the next, the next episode. Yeah, no, I miss a lot. And, um, so I am home this week without Sean. And so I'm like, okay, well, you know, I'll get back into Orange is the New Black and back up. I've had to back up almost all the way through the beginning of season three. Um, some of it I remembered. And so I was like, oh, sorry, guys. So I was like, okay, I'll just fast forward through this part, you know. Um, but others, I'm like, dang, I don't remember this happening. Okay, you guys, what a great show. Like, it, it's hilarious. It's just hilarious. I, um, I enjoy it. I just, these gals crack me up. And, um, you know, like, I, I would never be able to survive in prison. I am a delicate flower, darn it. At least that's what I tell Sean. Um, <laughs> And, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, oh my gosh, I, I don't know that I'd be able to, like, deal with the, the, um, hierarchy and, and, like, just everything that they go through cracks me up. I just, I can't, I just can't. Um, but if you watch it, okay, so, um, and of course I don't want to spoil it for anybody, but I'm hoping that you're, you know, well past, uh, the first couple of seasons, but, um, you know, when Sophia, when what happened to Sophia, um, do you guys, I mean, oh my gosh, I just, I, I can't even, so now I'm in, so that happened in season three, so if you watch it, you know what I'm talking about, if you haven't watched it, I don't want to spoil it for you, um, but, so now I'm in season four, and I'm three episodes in maybe, three or four episodes in. Yeah. And uh, I can't wait to see what her storyline is because um, I, I like her. I like her character. I like her as an actor, you know. Um, and um, yeah, I just, I can't wait to see what the storyline is how her storyline unfolds but I was talking to my daughter about it the other day and she goes yeah I really enjoyed Orange is the New Black in the beginning but um I'm not I'm not loving it right now and I said oh really why and she goes it's gotten really violent and I said well it's always been kind of violent and she goes well yeah but it's been like violent kind of you know like not violent violent now it's turning violent and I'm like I thought that the storyline was going to go to, I, I don't know. 
I don't know. I don't know what I thought, but I, I guess I just didn't think that it would. I don't know. I thought that it would be more like the storyline on, um, you know, how they are trying to get out or how they're more surviving in prison and working together as, as kind of like a team, which is how it was portrayed in maybe seasons two, three, and part of, well, at least the part of four that I've watched so far. Um, so yeah, but, um, you know, the enterprise that they do in, in prison too. I mean, seriously, this show just cracks me up. It is just, it is, it's been a great show anyway. Um, so yes, yeah, so I have restarted watching that again so that I can catch up and, and so it's my binge show and, um, so I don't know if you guys have um, been watching um, some of the new creators, uh, Diamond Painters, that have come on scene, so to speak. Um, but their shore is a lot of uh, newer um, Diamond Painters in the community. And um, I am just so enjoying, I'm just so enjoying watching um, their YouTube channels, and, um, I'm starting to get a couple of favorites, uh, that I get super excited when I see that they've got a new video coming out, um, or they have a new video out, and that that is something that I can watch, so I have figured out how to, here is a problem that I have, though, I have, I have one of the, I, I don't have a smart TV, I have, um, I have a, fire stick or something in my TV that talks to my iPad so that I can, um, transfer my, uh, YouTube onto my, um, TV and watch it that way. I don't know what it is. I am not technical. You guys, that's so beyond me, but, um, you know, my kids will say, mom, this is, you know, what you need so that you can do this. And I'm like, okay, and then order it on Amazon and it comes and somebody puts it in for me and makes it happen. So that's really the extent of the knowledge that I have. Um, so anyways, what I do is, you know, I will binge watch YouTube videos of diamond painters or cross stitchers because I do both. Um, but the issue is, is that you can watch them, but you can't comment, right? So, um, so I've had to, <laughs> again, the whole falling asleep thing. I've fallen asleep many a time, um, watching YouTube and diamond painting or cross stitch in the floss tube community. Um, and then woken up and then somebody new is on my TV um, and so then I'm like, oh gosh, I've got to remember to go back and, you know, make a comment or like the video or, you know, give it a thumbs up or whatever. And sometimes, you know, especially because what, what I do is I'm a night owl and, um, you know, it's not unusual for me to still be up at one thirty, two 2 o'clock in the morning um, diamond painting or reading or, you know, cross stitching or, um, watching YouTube. And so, you know, when I do fall asleep at two o'clock in the morning, um, and then wake up at six or seven, um, you know, that's now I'm getting ready for work and getting the little ready for school or camp or whatever we're doing that day. Um, and so then I forget and I try to remind myself, oh, you know, when you get on at eight or nine or 10 the next day, um, in the evening before you, you know, go in and, and, uh, put your, your cue together, um, go back and like, and comment and whatever, um, on the videos that you watched. And so I try to remember to do that, but let's face it. I am old and forgetful sometimes, and my memory is not always what it should be. And while I think it, you know, during the day, I'm like, ooh, got to do that. You know, don't forget to do that when you get home. Um, sometimes I'm not always good at the follow through. But rest assured, I, 
um, watch uh, quite a few uh, diamond painters and um, it's just such a great community and while I probably don't I well I don't I don't comment on everybody um, I really enjoy I do enjoy the content that is out there and I I do my best I do my best um sometimes I fall short Okay, let's see. Is there any C's up here? I think I'm... Oh, there's one. There's a straggler. Um, yeah, so what else have I done? So besides uh, Orange is the New Black, the other show that I watched is Narcos. Have you guys ever watched Narcos? Oh my god. I'm obsessed with that show. I am obsessed. And then there's a Narcos. So there's an, the original Narcos and then there's uh, Narcos Mexico. Oh, you guys. So, um, I think I talked about this maybe, uh, in another video, but Narcos Mexico, I was not able to do anything because, um, they speak, well, they, uh, yeah, speak Spanish in, um, the show. And so then they put the subtitles along the bottom and, whoops, and, um, and so now I've got to like pay attention, right? Because I don't know what's going on. And so it's a show that I've actually had to like pay attention to. <laughs> That's a problem for me. And uh, so, yeah, but I finished the season. I think that there was only one season and I finished it. And I'm telling you guys, they better come back with season two because I am hooked. Hooked. I love this show. And, um, and then I started watching uh, the real, I think it was called The Real Narcos, I think. And so it was based on like this guy. Um, let's see, find another symbol here real quick. Um, too far up for that. Uh, let's do that symbol. Okay, let me find it first. Sorry, guys. Yep. I lost my... Well, I didn't lose it. It's in another... I've got it in a different place upstairs. 37. Um, my color chart, or the in, mm, inventory sheet, that came with this... Um, is that right? No. <laughs> I'm like that does not seem like the right color. Okay. Um I left it upstairs. My index inventory sheet and um and forgot to put it in my storage case and so so now I have to go along with my little side index thingy and it is very tiny. Very tiny. My eyes are not what they used to be. Oops. Move you up there proper. Okay. Um, so, yeah. So, anyways, this show, um, the premise is... Oh, I got bored real quick. Um, it's a guy who goes into the... Um, and follows the narcos around um, in... Cortilazone, Cortilazone, is that what it's called? I think that's so, I think so. And, um, you know, they follow some of the, the, um, growers and, uh, the drug dealers and, you know, what they do, um, to survive and how they make their money and how they smuggle the drugs into different countries and, you know, it, like it's this huge big process, right? But it seemed so... It just seems so scripted and not like I, I know that they were probably in a lot of danger, you know, in dangerous spots quite a bit and stuff. But um, and the guy was cute as all heck, you know, um, but I just, you know, after watching like the TV show Narcos and the actors and stuff, I just couldn't get to to um, loving this. I guess almost like a documentary. Um, and I love documentaries, but I just was not feeling 
was not feeling that show. Um, yeah. So I stopped watching that real quick. But um, Narcos, if you like... So I am a, I'm a crime girl. I love me a good crime show. I have been a fan of Law and Order, all of them. Um, I watch uh, Blue Bloods. I watch um, NCIS. I watch CSI. I mean, I can tell you how to kill a body and hide it 50 different ways. Not really. I'm just joking. Um, but uh, you learn a lot. I'm just saying. But, um, yeah, no, I just, I love crime. I love true crime. I love, you know, fictional crime. I love, I just, I just love crime shows and the whole, like, psychology of a killer. And um, did you guys watch that show, Making a Murderer? Making a Murderer? Making of a Murderer? I think it's Making a Murderer. Okay, I am still a little divided over whether he did it or not. But, I mean, feel for the guy. He did something. Like, I just, I, I don't know. I, in my head, he's done something. I just don't know that he's guilty of what he's being accused of. But, um, I, I'm fascinated. I'm fascinated by that show. Fascinated, you guys. Um, yeah. Are they going to put any more of that out? I wonder if they are. I feel like his story is not quite finished. Um, yeah. Yeah. But anyways, yes, I love crime shows. And um, I get really quite invested in, in all of them. Um, what else do I watch? I watch, um, I'm very excited that Downton Abbey has a movie. Yes, I am. Watch that from the very beginning. That's a great show. Um, I also really like the hand, the handmaid, handmaid's tale. No, handmaid. Dang it. I'm so bad at at names, you guys. Um, but yeah, that show. <laughs> Love that. And then, of course, I watched Call the Midwife. And I binge watched the heck out of that. Like, I think I went through... How many seasons were there? I went through pretty much all of the seasons in about a month. Three weeks time. Something like that. Yeah. Because when I binge watch, I binge watch. But right now, we've gotten back into football season. I know it's only August and technically summer, but uh, football season has come back and I am a football slave and, um, and I watch college and NFL and, um, and yeah, so my Saturdays, my Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays from now until Super Bowl weekend are going to be filled watching football and diamond painting um, while I couch coach. And, um, yeah, so I don't know. I'm having troubles, you guys, keeping up with all of these, with all of these shows. And then I was online the other day and somebody was saying that there was some other really great show, which I, I, of course escapes me at this moment. Oh, have you guys watched The Good Doctor? Oh my gosh, what a great show. Is that on Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime? I don't remember. I have all three. And, um, and there are shows on all three different, uh, platforms that I watch and oh, I love, but, um, the good doctor, what a show, like, seriously, that's a great show. Um, 
I also have watched the Marvel series, you know, with um, the Hand and the Punisher and the Arrow and um, uh, Jessica Jones. And you have to watch them in the correct, like you have to go online and actually see how to watch each of the Marvel shows um, in the, in the proper, like, you know, you're going to watch Jessica Jones one and then you, this is not how you do it, but I'm just saying you watch Jessica Jones one and then you go to the Punisher one and then maybe you go back to Jessica Jones two and then you go to, uh, I can't remember, let's just say the hand and then, you know, and then you watch another one and then Jessica Jones three and, um, but there's a, there's a way to watch them so that you, um, like you get that because, um, certain characters are in each series and, um, and they have a storyline that goes along with them that is really important to follow. And, um, you can, I mean, you could totally watch them on their own. Like the Punisher was really, 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 really awful. Like, oh man, how that man, again, cute, how he and his body went through all of that. I, I don't know. I don't know. Ooh, and an oldie but goodie is the blacklist. I started watching the blacklist again because I stopped watching it for a while. It was starting to, uh, it was just starting to mm, kind of be the same. And, um, and so then I got invested in The Queen. <laughs> also a great show. And I'm pretty sure it's coming back here pretty soon, right? For season three, I'm pretty sure. Um, or maybe it's already out. I don't know. I can't keep up, you guys. I can't keep up. Um, that was a good show. What else? Oh, I thought of another one. Uh, the heck was it? I see it in my head. Can't say it out loud. Oh my goodness. The pressure. Um, I don't remember. It'll come to me. It'll come to me later. Um, oh, Gotham. Oh, my God. That, oh, such a good show. I love Gotham. So it's Baby Batman. And, um, oh, it is such a good, good show. And, um, you know, they've got the girls in it, which they don't always portray, you know, when you watch Batman. Um, and so they've got Poison Ivy in it and they've got, um, why am I having troubles? Uh, Catwoman, was it Catwoman? Yeah. And, uh, oh my God, why can't I think of the girls' names? awful see this is what happens to me um but anyways oh wow such a great show and um and how alfred <laughs> uh, you know uh really played such an integral part of not only batman's upbringing but the really the making of batman himself um, oh, such a good show, you guys. And then all of the evil characters, like they did such a great job. Jada Pinkett Smith is in it. Um, as, oh man, I can't remember her name either. I am horrible. Um, but the guy who plays the penguin and, um, and the Joker. Oh, you guys, seriously, this show, if you have not seen it, Oh, you got to go see it. Um, there's a place that uh, was built uh, here and um, we call it, my my daughter and I call it the um, insane, insane Asylum place. It's 
when it's dark, <laughs> when it is dark and the moon is bright, it does look like this insane asylum in Gotham. And it cracks me up each and every time because, um, you know, very, very wealthy, prominent people live in this development. And, um, but it looks like an assailant asylum, just the way that it's being built into the mountain and, um, you know, the facade of the, of the, uh, buildings, the, the homes, and then the, uh, trees and plants and everything around it. Um, when you drive past it, it totally looks like an insane asylum. <laughs> and, um, so I crack up every time because, you know, status wise, um, it's a, it's a very exclusive place to live and, um, but it just cracks me up. So, okay, you guys, I have rambled on for quite some time. I'm going to take this up to bed, um, and diamond paint in bed because yes, I do that and, um, and get some more done. And then next time I will show you kind of my status or yeah, where I've gotten to my status and, um, trying to get this done hopefully in maybe in a couple of weeks, Sherry, hee <laughs> I thought maybe it would take me a week, but as you see, I have a lot more than I thought I had in my head. I think I thought that it stopped. You guys can't see that. I thought that it stopped here, but no, there's whoop, more. There's a whole nother section. And um, so in my head, I thought I was half done and I'm not half done. So um, I'm working it, girl. I'm trying. But uh, she has got a new, a couple of new collabs out. Um, and one she released yesterday with Jeremy of, um, I'm going to link his information below because I can never remember the rest of is Jeremy's something, something. And he is adorable. I, I love watching him and he has got adorable puppy and, um, and, uh, he does coloring. And so anyway, she's doing a new collab piece with him and then she's got an ongoing one. Um, with, I think it's chronically crafty. Again, I am horrible at names, you guys. I'm so sorry. Um, but I will do what I can to link below, um, what I remember. And, um, yeah, so, uh, a lot of rambling tonight. Sorry. My next, my next one, I'll try and get it together. Um, but I hope that uh, maybe you, if you are new to the parchment paper and how to put it on your your canvas so that you can work in sections, this is so much better to me than that whole big sheet that was on here. It was driving me crazy. It was just driving me crazy. Um, and so this is this is going to be a little better. Uh, uh, you know, if you've got ones that are, are partially, like, as you can tell, you know, I partially did some stuff under this one, but then there's still some area that has the canvas that I have not put anything on. And so eventually this is not going to stick. Um, and so putting like a cover minder on here with the magnetic or something that will help it just stay to the, to the canvas. Um, until you have finished that section and peel, peel it off. Um, but like I said, in order to protect the, even though it's finished, um, you know, I, we have some short dog hair that likes to fly around here and I don't really want to pick it out with tweezers when I go to, um, fix my canvas and frame it. Um, so I'm just going to cover it with the old covering and tape it down so that it has an, nothing gets on it in dust because clearly I'm not a fast diamond painter and uh, it could be sitting for a year before it gets done. Ha, no, I'm just kidding, Sherry. It's not going to be a year, two weeks. I'm working on two weeks, okay? Two weeks. Um, and I'm hoping to have it done. So I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to go and uh, get my lazy butt into bed and put my light pad and my lap pad in there and diamond paint away while I go and watch some more diamond painting YouTubers and um, check out what's what's been happening today and yesterday. So um, 
Have a good evening, everybody. Have a great day, you know, rest of your week. And um, I hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>